What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back at it like a motherfucking crack addict. Pussy popping on the handstand. You already know what time it is, man. Chunky's in the building. Tito's in the building. Chunky, baby. Turn around for me, Chunky, baby. Turn around for me, Chunky, baby. Chunky. I hit them notes on that one right there. I got he, he, yeah, Chucky, he right up. He's scary. He acting scary, man. So yeah, guys, as you can see today, we have a massive unboxing of sneakers, tech. There may be some clothing in here. I'm not too sure, but sneakers, tech, action figures, and all of the above. This is gonna be a new series that we're gonna do pretty much each and every week or each and every other week. But what I also wanted you guys to know is now that my PO box is back. Open. So you guys that want to send over clothing, send over, you know, if it's some art, you want to send over some, 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 some homie CD that I might check out, you know, I, I you better off emailing that to me. I don't, like, nope, my, my computer only ain't got a damn CD, my, none of my computers, my laptop nor my computer got a goddamn CD drive in it, so that's in my car don't even got a CD drive so this you rather better off emailing that shit but if you got something whether it's a company you're a small company trying to get off and send you got some tech you got some art something or you just want to send a gift feel free I will link that down I'll put that down below my actual address and I'll put it right here in front of the screen because I don't know what it is it's like 392 is something bro but it's in Snellville Georgia I will make sure to put the PO box though that you can send something in each and every other week I'm gonna try to do like massive unboxings like this one. So without further ado guys, let's sit back, relax, enjoy some snacks, and let's get straight into this wonderful unboxing. First things first, picked up the Dell Earnhardt Funko Pop. Huge fan of Dell Earnhardt, I had to pick it up. I'm still gonna say I'm not a collector at the end of the day. I'm not in the Funko gang. I'm not here to take anybody's spot. I'm not here to resell, but these things are quite cool to collect. I mean, I got the Dragon Ball Z ones already. Got a couple Funkos. I got a sleeping bear. I got so I got a bear brick on the way right now that's gonna be super dope. So I'm just getting my, you know, I'm just getting my weight up, getting some type of things here and there to collect. And I really love this Funko. And I actually got about six more in here that we're gonna go through. So just sit back and relax and enjoy some snacks. So I'm gonna put him right here. And I believe I wanna make sure I I, I have a special, a special Funko from a friend. Now, I don't know if it's, oh, I, I need to go look for it, hold on. Here we go, I found it. This one is very special. The first package sent from the P.O. Box, and hopefully, every, I might be out of focus, because bro, I'm like far away, like, there's stuff, bro, there's stuff back here as well. This is sent from Where's Your Father, shout out to Davey Boy, Davey McFly, he sent and ooped me this as a gift of appreciation. He, he, he shout out to Dave. I will link down below in the description his channel as well, so you guys can go and check it out. And he got two of them. He said, "Tony, here you go. No money, free gift, family to family." And huge shout out to Davey Boy for that. We got here the Michael Jordan Funko number 55. This is the Bulls, Chicago Bulls, and this is the black jersey. Definitely a great piece of work. Huge shout out to Davey Boy, appreciate that. I will link down below, go and subscribe to him, go check him out. He does videos on all types of stuff, from sneakers to clothing to tech, and that's my boy, man. He from VA as well, good friends with Bull as well, and he's a good dude, go and check him out. Next up, we got one here from Amazon. Like I said, I'm gonna go through all these very fast. Now, some of these might not be the Funko, but some of them will be. I had to pick this one up. I really wanted to have a lot of stuff from my childhood in here. I wanted to make this basically like a mini man's cave. And damn, this motherfucker who shipped it, this shit kind of, kind of. That's why you don't buy them online, right, Retro? You said to yourself, you motherfuckers kind of broken. Okay, here we go. Now, it's not that bad. Tommy Pickles. Tommy Pickles is on my dickles. I had to get the Tommy Pickles Rugrats. I actually wanted that Chucky one, but it uh, went for a little bit too much. And we got another one right here. And these are all gonna be going up on the top shelf, more than likely. Out of the box, I don't know yet. Like I said, I'm not here to like, to resell or nothing. It's more so just like collecting. I like some of the pieces that they have. And they have pretty much every damn thing in their life form. So that's why I kind of just wanted to collect a few of them. This next one, Rocco's Modern Life. And this one actually comes with Spunky. So it's actually a two for one piece. Super, super dope, Rocco's Modern Life. 
I need to get that Ren and Stimpy as well, though. Ren and Stimpy, I gotta get the Ren and Stimpy one. Hey, this is a regular Hey Arnold. Yeah, Arnold Short Man. So we got one right there, and we got some Expo markers, which is like randomly weird, right? The reason why is this this table that we're on right now is actually a dry erase board table. So I'm gonna be using this table more and more for like just drawing out projects, making bulletins and all that. So I wanted to get some dry erase markers for that in the studio. And everything you see here will be linked down below in the description. And I think this may be the last Funko. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's another one Boom. right here. Oh no, there's one more after this. Do 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 Funny, sir. Had to pick up the Doug Funny. Another classic. All my 90s babies out there, make sure you in the comment section letting them know how dope these pops are right here because you know this is a straight Nickelodeon. And last but not least, I picked up Crumb. Had to pick up the Crumb. Real monsters. I had to pick it up. So that is the Funko collection right there. All Nickelodeon pieces. I wanted to show some support. We also got, like I said, the Michael Jordan ones as well. So, you know, those are also awesome. But uh, yeah, man, Funko Maniac, it is what it is. So the next up, I don't know what this is in here. Some of this stuff may not even be like worthy of showing. Cause like a lot of stuff, this is all my recent stuff I picked up recently. This one is though, Polaroid Originals. I bought a Polaroid Original camera. Me and Nikki, like we've been together for four years and taking pictures has not been really one of the most biggest things we've done. It's taking videos has definitely been like all of our trips. But I wanted to get a Polaroid camera that I could, you know, used to share moments with her and we can have a little photo book and all the above so that is why i picked up the polaroid camera this one right here so this is super dope man it's actually very very affordable i can run like a hundred and some bucks you can take the pictures they print them out right in the slot you shake it up you know the same og way but it also has some more advanced tech to it you know you can download the app and i believe you probably can take the photo remote manual mode self-timer you can do all that on the phone so it's Old school with the new, and I actually like this a lot, man. So, shout out to Polaroid and the originals, and I got some extra, you know, color film right there. It may even come with some. Yeah, it works with it, so. We'll be taking some of those very soon, and working on me and Nicole's photo album. Next up, I don't know what this is. This is a big box right here. Now, I think this is more on the tech side. This is something definitely for you homeowners out there, I think this is what this is, yeah. All right, so I actually bought one of these. I bought one of these like a year or two ago, right? It's the same exact one. I got this shit on sale and everything, and I lost it when we moved here. This is the Velop. Now, I wasn't using it at our last house because it was like, the way our house was set up was totally different than how this house is set up. But this is something, if you live in like a, 3,000, two, even 2,000 2, 000 square feet and up house, this is something that you should definitely look into to get a very nice bandwidth as, you know, like of, of, of internet space. Like we have three stories here. I'm on the third floor right now, which is just a retreat. Second floor is where me and Nicole and all the other guest rooms are. And then the first floor is the, you know, living room and all the above. With this Velop, what it does is it, it puts three different pods in three different areas of the house, expanding the internet's connection. For instance, right here, the modem is on the third floor. On the first floor, it's there, but it's a little weak. Now, I went and bought a Nighthawk like 10, X10, which is like one of the most expensive, one of the best ones, right? But the thing is the Nighthawk, it just kind of just goes like, imagine like the Nighthawk, it goes out very wide, but it, going through three floors, it, it still causes some trouble. It's very good for more of a ranch style home. But with the three stories, this is where it came into handy. At the previous house, it wasn't that many stories, so the Nighthawk did its justice. But I'm gonna have to hook this whole system up in the house to increase the internet because this thing works up to 5,000 square feet. And I believe this house is around 4,000. So we need it to just help the internet throughout the whole house. So check it out. It's Lynx's Velop. It's kind of expensive, but they sell like just the two of them. So like if you're on two stories, they got the, like the two system one, they got the three system one. There's various different ones. I'm gonna link them all down below so you can check them out. I'm gonna get this uh, this little thing out the way though. This little thing is, uh, this is a little something, some little furniture I bought. Nothing too big. Actually, it's the biggest box here. I sit behind this behind us, this desk. I sit here a lot and do a lot of work, but I also like to have my laptop on my side. And usually what happens is the laptop is crammed on the desk with everything else. So what I bought, you probably can't see it here, but when I build it, I'll show you the, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the B-roll. What I bought here though is a mini portable desk. It's very, very small, but it'll allow me to put my laptop 
right beside me and I can push it up against the window. I can have it pretty much everywhere. This is a very small like desk. It's something that will help just give me some space because let me show you real quick. From the B-roll, I'm gonna be showing you currently, like I said, everything's crammed up. Getting this desk, getting this little table will give me some more room and I can slide that table underneath the table I got now. It's just gonna give me so much more room, so much more space and ability just to do what the hell I want. Next up, we got a package in. Now these are two packages in from the brand over at Puma. If you've been watching my IG and if you haven't already, make sure you go and follow me over on IG at TonyD2Wild. Follow me ASAP Rocky. I did a video shoot with Puma and I actually dropped the behind the scenes footage as well, which by the time you watch this video, it should be on my secondary channel right now. If it isn't, it'll be up probably later on the day. We'll go check it out. Behind the scenes photo shoot with Puma on the new LQD. Now, no, I think it's the LD, L, the LDQ. LQD, yeah. The LQD Cell Origin Drone and this is the night model. Now, I actually have this same model. They sent me this pair already and I'm going to be giving away this pair on Too Wild for TV. So go and subscribe. Stay tuned. I'm going to do a giveaway, giving away this pair, but also the other pair. I'm going to show you the other pair right now. And that one I'm giving away as well, but it's going to be in a size 10 and a half. So here, right here, we got the LQD cell. This is the daytime. And I have a 10 and a half that was worn once on the shoot. So you guys can get that one as well. I'm gonna be giving away this one, eight and a half, and then this version, 10 and a half, on the Two Wild for TV channel. I will announce the giveaway over here as well, but it will be for the secondary channel. So make sure you, you go and subscribe. I will link it all down below in the description and the behind the scenes and all that will be dropping very shortly over there. But huge shout out to Puma, the shoe itself, exquisite. Foot Locker's posted me on there. I posted it on my, you know, on my IG as well. And huge shout out to Puma for, you know, inviting me on that. Right here, nothing really special, special, but quick heads up. I extended it for one day just because I got this package in. This is from Sample Industries, my own brand, you know. But I had to re-up on some slides because Chunky, Chunky, yeah, he chewed them up. So I got three pairs of slides in from Sample. Right now though, guys, we have a 50% off sale on the site, right now on the site. So let me do the math real quick. Currently these things are going and retailing for $30, right? They retail for 30 bucks right here. But now on sample, we have the 50% off sale. You can get these things for $15 a piece. A lot of sizes are sold out, man. This is one of the biggest items we ever dropped. So, you know, it's been around for quite some time. And I promise you, these will be one of the most comfortable slides you ever will have. Trust me. And I didn't, I'm not saying trust me because of me. I'm saying trust me because of all the people that ever told me that. And to this day, it's still like just surprising me. Like people have said that we have some of the most comfortable slides that they've ever worn in their life. If anybody's in the comment section, please vouch for me. Then right here, I don't know what this is. I have no clue what this is. I think this might be something that, oh, this, I guess I can show y'all this. Dr. Gillespie. He's coming back real soon. And then last but not least, this thing's been sitting for quite some time with the Just Do It sticker on it that you need to take off, Nike. You smoking, y'all tripping, bro. Y'all tripping. But we got these in, man. These things sold out and they're gone. I mean, maybe there might be a surprise restock down the road. I'm guessing that they're gonna do like a little surprise restock because the way they sold out is just still baffles me today, but I was able to copy because I was just on the on the website very fast and it is what it is. But we got here a Jordan box, silver with the red jump man. This is the Jordan that I remember when I was a kid. This is the box that I remember. This is the shoe I remember. This is the first, I would say not maybe the second Jordan that I ever had as a kid. This is that colorway too. And that is the Jordan 14 cherry. This shoe off the rip, the tongue looked like a damn, look at that tongue, what the hell? What about, talk about presentation, Jordan Lee. Let me grab another one. This shit look like a damn old man's balls ripped open three times at the age of 80. Yeah, the tongue is dead on this shoe. We got in the Jordan 14, Richard Hamilton PE. We call them the Candy Canes. I'm glad to add into the collection. Material on the mid, mid area, pretty nice, nice and uh, nice tumble, I guess what the hell you would call this. Grain on the toe box. But overall, it looks like any other, you know, Candy Cane 14. And right now, as we speak, Tito just got a victory on Call of Duty Blackout. So congratulations, Tito.
Let me, let me record you guys recording him. This is what's going on right here. So here's the camera. There's me recording him. Victory number one, Tito. This, this is what's going on. We're multitasking right now. You know what I'm saying? Multitask. So yeah, man, the candy canes, they came. We saw, they sold out. Baldy, looking at these, ah. Look at the B-roll, you tell me. I'm pissed off looking at this toe box. It looks raggedy as shit. But it is what it is. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Slap a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We got tons of stuff in the day. If you like this video, please leave a like and let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. It's your boy, Tony Digital, bringing back another 4K visual. Back at it like a motherfucking crack addict, as always. And we pussy popping on the handstand. I'm checking in. I'm checking out.